Hey, what's up everybody? Fred Minnick here. And as I mentioned in my last video, I will not be doing any tastings um, or, you know, bourbon centric taste offs, anything like that, because I got my top 100 coming up on December 20th and that's next week. And I am so excited about that, but make sure you do not miss this. This live stream will be epic. I've hired a really prominent uh, film crew to come, uh, basically to come, you know, stream this for me. And they do, they do uh, live streams for musicians and stuff. So this is going to be probably the best live stream I've ever done. That, so that's just that side of it. But of course, I'm going to taste 100 products over the course over two, three hours. So pray for me, pray for me. Um, at any rate, I did want to continue doing some content and putting stuff out there. And so I hit up my my group club Marzipan to ask them to, you know, give me some, some questions as to, you know, what they would like to see on my, on my channel. Now, if you would like to become a club Marzipan member or learn more about it, go to the description of this video and you will find uh, a link that'll take you to club Marzipan. So the, question that really i really wanted to approach because it's 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 changed my life it came from uh philip bosch philip has been uh is a member of club marzipan and has been an, an incredible contributor to the whiskey community since uh since i've gotten to know him uh he asked me he asked me to tell the story of how i got into brazilian jiu-jitsu and he said he said something very specific that really really kind of um made me feel made me feel good and he said that the 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 videos but at the beginning of the year to now uh he said there's a there's a noticeable difference with with how you look and in fact right now i am wearing i'm not i'm not taking it off i'm wearing a, a shirt i haven't been able to fit in this shirt for i'd say 12 years so i haven't, I haven't worn this shirt in about 12 years because i just couldn't fit it and it was a shirt I bought when I was in Italy. And I just lo I love this shirt. And so today is the first day that I've been able to wear this shirt, you know, due to my size uh, for 10, 12 years. And when you, when you taste bourbon professionally, this is something that you have to tackle at some point in your career. How do you maintain your health? And I was, every, I was a runner, I was in the military, I played rugby in college, or at least one season in college. Uh, I wrestled growing up, I played football, I was always in stuff. And when I got out of the military in 2005, my athleticism just kind of went bleh. You know, I, every time I tried to get into something, I'd get hurt. So I'd run, I'd hurt, I'd get hurt. And I just, I could never get myself in a groove. And I just always love the idea of getting in jujitsu. My, uh, my cousin is in jujitsu. Um, a lot of my friends are like, uh, Danny Wimmer, uh, whom I work with on Bourbon and Beyond and Danny Hayes are in jujitsu. And I just always in this mind, had this in the back of my mind, like I could, I could get in it. And I had a one of my dinners that i had uh, last year at watch hill proper and there was a guy who came to my uh came to my dinner it was like a, a present for him from his wife and he um he was talking about like you know he had the cauliflower ears and everything i just assumed he wrestled i was like hey did you wrestle i wrestled you know tell me more out you know i didn't say how did you get your cauliflower ears but he was like hey, i'm a black belt in brazilian jiu-jitsu and i go to this gym over here I end up calling that gym, and at this point, I weighed um, 250 pounds, and I was on my way to to Washington D.C. for Blind Bourbon, my Blind Bourbon event that was at uh, Nationals Park. You can actually see a video of it in this uh, on the channel. Just search for Blind Bourbon D.C. on the channel, and you can see it was it was an amazing event. It was um, it was just it was incredible. And it was when I was in the airport there, my pants were feeling tight. My shirt was tight. I was feeling really down about my appearance as I looked at myself in the mirror that day. 
and I Googled Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and end up calling the gym that this guy went to and it's called made it was called it's called made fitness and brazilian jiu-jitsu or combat gym actually i don't even know what it's called fully it's got like several names to it but it's called made m-a-d-e so it's a pretty simple pretty simple name it has a couple of sub names to it but i called the guy i got on the phone with a gentleman named garrett watson also a black belt and uh, I said, hey, um, I want to, I, I was thinking about getting in jujitsu to, to lose weight, but I was like, you know, shouldn't I, shouldn't I get into, get fit before I, I, I start this journey? Shouldn't I, you know, do something before I start getting in jujitsu? And he's like, oh, no, 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 no. You just got to do jujitsu to get in shape. And I was like, I was just thinking to myself, is this guy just trying to get me in the gym and get me on one of these contract things? And I was like, you know, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to create an excuse. I booked a private lesson with him while I was waiting on my plane in the Louisville airport. And a couple weeks later, it's been more than a year now, I went to, I went to the gym and I got, he gave me a gi and the gi he gave me didn't fit. He gave me another gi. It didn't fit. He had to like go to like the, to the, you know, to, to, he's got like every gym has a bunch of like used geese or um, and, and he just had one giant gi and it fit and the biggest belt he had, he put it on me, it barely fit. And the first thing he did was like choke the shit out of me. He's, he's like showed me like how to do uh, a back choke. And, uh, and he's like, this is when you tap. <laughs> I wasn't the first thing necessarily, but um yeah i think it might have been actually anyway i don't remember he he um he, this lesson was like he was teaching me how to you know the the positions like stand up which i knew well from wrestling uh guard which i knew from ufc half guard things like that he was showing me these positions which i kind of loosely knew but it was different to to be in them and i would keep going back to uh, these private lessons and I started out private because I didn't want to go into a class like if I went to a class I was I was afraid I was going to embarrass myself to be honest with you and so I kept doing these private lessons for about three four months and then I was like okay I can hold my own or at least I think I can hold my own uh, now I'm going to go to class and so um, I go into this thinking that the private lessons are going to help me uh, from from class, but no, it they did help me. Don't get me wrong; it helped me understand it. And by this point, I'd lost a few pounds, so I was already on this journey. But I started doing a class around March, and I just dove into it. I fell in love. I mean, I the within that first three months, I fell in love with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and at that point, when when I crossed that line of falling in love with it. I, I did not, I did not do it because of fitness anymore, uh, or, or because I wanted to lose weight. I did it because I wanted to get better at jujitsu. I wanted to, I wanted to go there and, and, and learn like it is, it is such a powerful, um, interpersonal journey. And I end up tearing my rotator cuff. Um, I used to ride bulls when I was in high school and I tore my rotator cuff back then, uh, fought, you know, it, long story short, but I have like two regrets in my life. One of them was that I rode bulls and did all kinds of dumb shit when I was in high school. I'm sure we all have those regrets, but that injury kept me from playing baseball again. And it just, it did all kinds of stuff, but I never really, never really healed. And anyone's ever had shoulder issues, you know what it's like. So I tore my rotator cuff again uh, while rolling. And it was one of those things where I didn't even, I didn't even hurt. I didn't, it, I wasn't getting submitted like an Americana or something like that. I was just reaching up to grab a guy and my shoulder popped out. So I, my shoulder separated and I tore my rotator cuff. And I went to, um, I was all bummed because I was like, man, I just found jujitsu ju ju and I'm hurt. I'm not gonna be able to roll again. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna keep rolling. I'm gonna find a physical therapist 
that will work with me through this. And so I found this incredible physical therapist in Louisville called Lynchpin. Um, he's a judo black belt and he knows how to, you know, get you where you want to be. Anyway, my shoulders back, I'm getting my, I'm, I'm tr continuing to train, but focusing less on my, on my injured side and more on my other side. And I continue, 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 and continue. And I keep getting better and I keep getting better. And you know what? I'm, I'm a white belt. I'm a one stripe white belt and it's the most exhilarating and you know uh joyful exercise or whatever I, I don't even i don't even have the words put into it but when i get on that mat like i'm not thinking about anything other than the mat and what moves i need to do i'm always trying to think of like um what's the next technique am i in the right position but it all started because i thought that jujitsu would be a good place for me to lose weight and you know what i've lost 35 pounds uh, i started this journey at um 250 and i'm now i'm now at 215 now well i will say i'm at between 215 and 220 like you know a cheeseburger one way or the other and i'm you know but it's in that it's in that swing so i say i lost 35 pounds you could say 30 but at the end of the day I have lost significant weight. Um, I feel stronger. I love, I love everything about jujitsu, and um, man, it saved my life. Like physically, like the blood work has come back since we've done it. Like my cholesterol's gone down. Like all the, all the little things and in, in life that you're looking for uh, to get better at, it's, it's made me better. Now I've been a happy person. I'm a very, I've been a very happy person, but physically. I was not happy and there, I didn't feel like there was anything I could do to get past the other side. And again, what I do for a living, I've already got, you know, the chips stacked against me because I'm drinking bourbon for a living. I'm going out and eating all the time. So I needed something that would burn massive amounts of calories and it was something that I could enjoy instead of feeling like I was a hamster on a treadmill. So. That's a little bit about my journey. Um, I'll probably continue talking about that uh, over the years and definitely as I advance and do more, I wanna continue in this. And it's not, to me, it's not about getting promoted or becoming a black belt. And if that, if that happens in my, in my journey, that's awesome. But for me, it's, it's just getting better and, and having that feeling on the mat again, so. That's that's my journey, Philip, and I appreciate you uh, asking that question. Um, and just want to thank everyone for for being a part of my my community, especially Club Marzipan. You all are incredible supporters, and it means a lot to me. Cheers.